welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the newly released Transformers Kingdom Generation Select Leader Class Galvatron. This time, of course, done in either his toy accurate or comic book accurate color scheme, depending on what look you actually wish to go for with this guy. As of course, he does also come packaged with a sticker sheet. Now, for those of you who have seen some of my Transformers Prime reissue reviews, you guys all know my thoughts on stickers. I absolutely hate them, so I shan't be applying any to this particular figure, although I will insert an image here just so that you can gather a sense of what he should look like. And to be honest with you, I'm more than suffice with the base figure. If anything, I actually prefer it when in comparison to the previous Galvatron that we've got released as part of the main line of Kingdom. Now, this has actually been a figure that I've been really, really looking forward to. I thought the Galvatron mold was smashing, so to get it here in a recolor, and in my opinion, a better recolor, I was definitely all for it. And I think this guy's turned out great. And there is also one noticeable QC change on this guy, which I really think will be a game changer for those who are perhaps on the fence, as they have in fact actually fixed the shoulders. But we'll touch base with that later on in the review. Very quickly going over the accessories, we do get included one creation matrix of course this time completely picked out in an awesome metallic green you can see it's the exact same matrix sculpt that we got with the previous galvatron earthrise prime and of course rodimus prime although it's just as detailed you can see that it has been harnessed to the same chain that we got with the previous galvatron and if you were so inclined of course you could in fact wriggle this off remove it and have it as its own standalone piece or take it and put it around the next section of galvatron we of course also do get included two revenge gunships much like the previous galvatron unlike those however these have this time been cast out of a really nice looking matte black I will be honest and say these look fantastic when in comparison to the grey that we got on the original version you can see some super nice looking sculpt work really really impressive although if rumours are to be true that we are in fact going to be seeing an actual in scale revenge with the upcoming reformatting Megatron then these are definitely going to be slightly redundant which is unfortunate but you can take both of these of course peg them together to create a super large gunship or I guess you could call it a railgun for Galvatron and this can be inserted into either of the hands or for those of you who perhaps actually want to store them onto the figure just to create for a slightly different display you can in fact either take these slots here which are the slots I prefer to use or these ones and actually tab them into this section now depending on how you have the waist orientated there may be some junk in the way but just peg these here onto the side and you can see how you've got the revenge ships pegged there onto Galvatron's back and actually not looking too bad at all but setting these here off to the side including the creation matrix and taking a look at Galvatron himself I think the figures turned out great in regards to a new color scheme I think he looks exceptional I've always been a sucker for repaints and I think this guy is definitely one of the better generation select figures that we've got and you can see in regards to detail a fantastic looking head sculpt completely cast out of grey plastic but we've got a really nice purple crest as well as quite a dark grey used there for the faceplate but the eyes look incredibly piercing of course here for the torso region completely cast out of grey plastic you can spice this up with a few additional stickers if you are so inclined but I actually think it looks really nice Decepticon insignia slap bang there in the centre sadly we do have some paint rub here just due to transformation but we'll touch base with that later on in the review you can see here complete smoothed out shoulders but when we bring the old Galvatron in for a comparison you'll really be able to see the major difference there but awesome looking sculpt work going on here for the biceps as well as the forearms purple joints here for the elbows which I think look really really nice and then as we just spin our attention down to the lower section you can see some purple thighs as well as a really nice contrast of grey and silvers here going on for the lower section a darker grey used for this piece silver and then of course a much lighter shade and then we've got a really nice glossy black finish applied here to the base of the foot and then as we just spin around here to the back you can once again see the figure for the most part actually cleans up incredibly well and of course we've got Galvatron's huge particle cannon and slap there on the side looking once again really really nice I just think this is a really nice Galvatron mold in my opinion it's one of the best Galvatrons that Hasbro and Takara have put out for at least the last 10 years I cannot think of any figure that can actually rival this officially it's such a nicely done sculpt now getting into articulation of course Galvatron has got a ball joint here at the head which can look left to right up and down till side to side to quite a good degree we do get a full rotation here at the shoulder a hinge joint out to the side which can bend way past 90 which is excellent we do in fact get a full rotation here at the bicep double joints here at the elbows due to transformation full wrist rotation as well as a full waist rotation the legs can kick forwards that far as well as back to that far he can also do the splits out to the side rotation at the thigh 90 there at the knee and then finally of course we get quite a decent ankle rocker pivot although if you do mistransform him you are able to exceed that range of motion however the sculpt will be greatly compromised but overall a really really nicely done looking figure now in order to compare him of course we shall bring out the original wave 3 leader class galvatron and here is really where you'll be able to see the stark difference in comparison to the shoulders now of course when this original galvatron figure was released there was so much controversy surrounding him whether or not the shoulders were in fact misassembled and with this generation select release it does appear as if though those rumors appear to be true so for example here on my galvatron you can see how we had all of this sculpted in molded detailing here at the top and the shoulders actually sat pretty low to be fair it was never really an issue that i noticed all that much and that is why really and truly I haven't actually attempted to do the fix just as to me it's an issue that's not really worth solving but if you actually do compare it here
here with this Gen Select version, you can see that the shoulders do in fact sit now a lot higher on this release, which makes them a little bit more proportionate. Honestly, it's only by a minimal amount, but I do prefer the smoothness that we've got going on here for the top. So hopefully I'll be able to track down a correctly assembled Kingdom Galvatron and then of course have a figure which has got no faults on it at all. But really and truly, this is something that should not have slipped by Hasbro's QC and it's quite unusual to see such a glaring issue on a mass produced figure. But you can see here, completely smoothed out this time and actually looking a little better in my personal opinion. But really and truly, that is all the differences in regards to the QC and the molding. The figure is exactly the same. You can see in regards to the color scheme, definitely a stark difference. This of course is more traditional for Galvatron where this newer version is more akin to how he appeared in the comics and of course how the actual original Galvatron toy did come out as I do believe that originally Galvatron was supposed to feature in the series actually looking like this but for whatever reason they changed him to be purple personally I think both of them look pretty decent but if I had to choose I actually think I would prefer the look here of the Generation Selects version. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below what version of Galvatron do you guys prefer and which one will you actually be adding to your collection. Now very quickly going over transformation of course you're just going to want to detach the plasma cannon and then just remove the tip of this we're then going to want to turn our attention here to these arms fold these up take the wrists collapse those in and then these tabs will of course peg into the slots so just peg them in there repeat the exact same process here for this side so just snap that there into place we can then take these treads bring these forwards and they will in fact actually soft tab there into place just setting up the orientation for the tank mode so just snap that one in there we can then turn our attention to the back detach these pieces peg them here along the side take the heel spurs collapse these into the base and you can once again see some really nice almost thruster detailing on these which is a really nice attention to detail to be fair we can then come here to the back section just attach this we can take these shoulders detach both of these and set them there off to the side we can then take this panel detach this take this and of course rotate the head all the way in collapse this down and then just snap that there over the top that will then allow you to orientate this all the way around and once again really nice looking sculpt work an area which you actually won't see in either mode so this is purely just for the transformation and that is a super super nice touch even here for the underside of the chest piece so really really awesome attention to detail but then just pull this over to the top we can then bring these legs down take this panel here take this purple section snap that into place snap that there into place rotate these sections around take the toes Pull those down as well as these new heel spurs and then just orientate them in a way so that they do snap into place securely lift these sections up in order to allow these skirt pieces to come forwards and repeat the same process these tabs here will in fact slot underneath this purple section so just clip that in there and then finally you just want to shoot these tabs into these slots. This can be rather finicky to do, but there is a pressure point. So if you apply some pressure to this red section, it should clip in no problem. And of course, come to this side and repeat the exact same process. Just like so and then these pieces will also in fact actually tab over this now this is unfortunately where the paint rub has actually occurred as this is completely painted and of course this is quite a tight tab which sadly means that inevitably the paint will rub off over time which is slightly unfortunate it would have been cool to have seen them cast these out of red plastic but nevertheless just peg them there over the top orientate this correctly and there essentially you've got galvatron fully transformed but we can bring back in the cannon snap that there into side and then of course just take this peg that there onto the top and there you've got the generation selects kingdom galvatron fully transformed up into the space cannon and once again actually looking really really nice i think this is a fantastic looking galvatron mold you can see amazing attention to detail going on here for this section this entire piece has been completely painted in silver which looks really really impressive as we turn our attention to the side of course lots of great plastic but as mentioned beforehand you can definitely spice up the look with some of those stickers you can see the tread detailing looking really really impressive some nice silver sculpt work going on there and then of course as we just turn to the back we've got some awesome hydraulic detailing as well as some pretty decent interior detailing which once again is for an area that you won't really see in either mode i mean who's really going to display their galvatron from the back but overall it's a pretty convincing space cannon mode definitely resembles what we've seen from the 86 movie and of course when galvatron was in season three of g1 but of course this time done in his toy accurate color scheme now we can take some of these other accessories such as the creation matrix slide this here over the top just snap that there into place in order to give you the impression that it's dangling over the top of the cannon and then we can also take these revenge ships here and just snap them into place and of course repeat the same process and there you've got galvatron 
utilizing all of his weapons in the cannon mode. Once again, bringing out Kingdom Galvatron for a size comparison, it's really just going to come down to personal preference as to what you guys prefer in regards to a color scheme. Personally, I'm rather torn on both of them. I love the look of the original version, but then I also really like the look of the newer version. At least in robot mode, I think the new generation select version is slightly winning me over. I love the contrast between the more predominant gray and of course the subtle highlights of purple, when in comparison to what is essentially a vice versa with the Kingdom Galvatron, where it's of course more predominantly purple. But both very good figures. One thing I failed to mention is that of course we've got the wheels here on the base, so the figure can indeed roll along the ground much like you would expect, and overall it's just a super solid looking release. So, some final thoughts for the Transformers Generation Selects Kingdom Leader Class Galvatron. Overall, I think it's turned out pretty nice. Of course, the main figure himself, at least in my opinion, is one of the better leaders that we've seen from the War for Cybertron trilogy so far. I think as a Galvatron goes, it's by far one of the best that Hasbro and Takara have ever put out. It's got an amazing attention to detail in bot mode as well as the cannon mode. The articulation too is pretty decent and the transformation is also incredibly enjoyable to actually go through. This time done in either his more comic or toy accurate colour scheme depending on what look you decide to go with the character with some of those stickers. I think he's turned out really really nicely. I'm definitely very happy with the standard base figure itself and of course for those of you who are brave enough to actually apply the stickers you could be left with a really visually appealing looking figure. Of course it's just going to come down to personal preference as to whether or not you prefer this look over the kingdom version or perhaps you prefer both of them and then it's really just up to you on how you wish to customise him with some of those other stickers. I personally would say that for those of you who are completionist or for those who like the actual toy look of Galvatron then definitely go for this guy. He looks fantastic and not to mention that we actually have the correctly assembled shoulders on this guy which is really something we should have seen from the offset with the original Galvatron. I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this particular figure. Is it one that you'll be adding to your collection and if so will you guys be applying any of the stickers? Personally I would have much rather have gotten this guy with actual stamped on decals instead of those stickers but then of course you wouldn't have had the ability to have customized this guy. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down in the comment section below. And until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.